Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius. Oh yeah! <laughs> so, let's get into it. Let's see what kind of person you're having coming in for you. I had, uh, I saw the marriage card, I saw the four of wands, which could be moving, and I saw the two of cups when I was shuffling. So this seems to be a lot of love coming in here. Let's see what we have for the Sagittarius. We have the Queen of Cups. This is the sweetheart of the deal here <laughs> of the whole deck. Now, this is water signs. These are Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. These are people that are very into their emotions. They feel. It comes naturally to them. Things happen in months. Um, the person could have blonde, blue, hazel, or, green, or gray eyes. They could have pale skin, light to medium olive. They are a little softer uh, in the body type or rounder, but they also can be very toned. So let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have six of cups. This could be somebody from the past. They see you as that sweetheart. I just need my glasses on. <laughs> All right, yes, they are yearning for you with that Six of Cups. That is all about those feelings, those longing and past feelings for the past relationship or past person. Sentimental, home, comfy, joyful memories, usually of the past. Someone is thinking about you that is from your past. Let's see here. How are you going to meet this person? Or how are you going to run into this person since you already seem to know them? Oh, this, I feel like with the privileged lady, they feel like things come to you quite easily, which they may do if you are this water sign. Well, this is them, I should say. Um, you, Sagittarius, are the fire sign, but perhaps you have the water in your chart, the sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Now, they may see you as a privileged lady, okay? So, let's see. This person is from your past. They're a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They may see you as the privileged lady, or they are a privileged lady. They may be looking at their emotional side, so even if they are masculine, they're showing up in their feminine side, but they may see you as a privileged lady. And if you, if you have a woman coming in for you, masculine, this may be how you see this person. Now, we have this groups and growth. So somebody may have really grown here, did a lot of soul searching, all those great things that helps them be a better person, seeing things within themselves and changing things. This person may have a lot of self-expression, maybe in the way they dress, maybe you see them at a garden or a, I'm getting like a park that has a lot of flowers. It may be a floral, um, I'm getting a nursery, maybe even uh, for trees or I'm kind of getting even gardening, gardening things here. Maybe they work at a, a nursery for plants, like a garden center, or, or they really like to grow things. Hmm. There's change coming in here with the number five. Somebody is seeking freedom or I feel like freedom from any conflicts or instability, some type of change. If they look at it on the positive side, they're being asked to adapt and look at things as an adventure or even looking for things as a curiosity level. And this could be tapping into what they really want to do. Perhaps they lost their job or it's seasonal. So they may be in despair of what they're going to do for the winter.
This is about material abundance, taking action, being the authoritative. Mm, Cortados, more change. Now we have one, two, three, two. You may have been seeing a lot of these numbers in synchronicities like zero, one, two, three, or one, two, three, two, or three, two, one, two, or <laughs> whatever the case. We also have two, three. So we have one, two, three, two, two, three here. Now, there might be something that this person has to go to court over. Now, perhaps the other side of their job is looking at maybe working in the courthouse. It could be with the justice field. It could be that they are looking to get into a new field, maybe taking schooling. It could be a police department or courthouse as a bailiff or something like that. They're maybe looking at getting another job if this is a masculine. It could be a feminine as well. Let's see what your two souls will connect with Sagittarius when it comes to meeting this person. When two hearts meet. Now, this is the soul connection between the two of you. Let's see what comes up. Power. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. So you're really going to feel this person. You're really going to feel this magnetic draw to this person. It's going to be so powerful. It's going to be undeniable. It has. It's going to be very intense. <laughs> the intensity of true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. So this may even be a twin flame because that is one of the harder uh, soul connections you can have. Of course, there are 12 different types of soulmates and twin flame is classed as one of them. And that love and the challenging and you help heal one another, you help teach each other things. And it's usually a very spiritual connection and it's very intense. There are romantic soulmates as well, that you also learn from them, you also grow together and heal. But twin flame um, soulmates are really hard to deal with. Not all twin flames come together. Let's see if there's any obstacles or maybe people in the way. Let's see what happens here for any obstacles. Uh, you may have different values mm, and somebody may like to self-sabotage. <laughs> they mess up the good things in their life sometimes, maybe saying the wrong thing, being flippant or not thinking things through. There might be different ways that you spend money. Perhaps you're a saver and they are more um, a giver. Now, you may be that vice versa. Take however it resonates for you. Now, keep in mind, we still have um, Neptune in uh, retrograde, which is going to change certain beliefs and values. So once that comes out of retrograde, things are really going to change. So, and that happens on December 6th. So, so that's like a little bit away. So things definitely will be... I feel like seeing the other side of the coin. Oh, we got shadow side. Oh, somebody might be tapping into that. <laughs> you made me realize my flaws. So this may be somebody from your past. So this person may see you as a very intense connection. Perhaps you both feel one another before you even see one another. They may drive by and you may run to the window feeling their energy, wondering who is that that just drove by, but you already know. <laughs> you already know is what I'm getting there. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Commitment. I want to be a part. I want you to be a part of my future. So they definitely want a commitment with you. They, you may have always known that about them, but maybe things kind of went sideways a little bit there, Sagittarius. So let's see what maybe their fear or, and of course, remember what fear stands for could be false evidence appearing real. Now, it's not always going to be false. It may be a trigger, but don't miss 
the red flags. You can take note of the red flags, see if there's any other red flags. Maybe it's just a one-off. But, I mean, hang in there enough to know for sure. Don't just bail because you see one red flag. There may be things that you like about this person, and there may be things that you don't like about this person. The real thing is, is what can you live with? What can you live when it comes to what you're looking for in a person? You're going to know, right? So let's see. Let's see what these fears might be or triggers could be just how they feel about someone else. So let's see. Or you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am blocked. Maybe I blocked their number. <laughs> it could be their chakras. So, and if it is about their throat chakra being blocked, that's an ability to communicate and express themselves to you. So they may be a little hard to find it to communicate with you. <laughs> Why do I feel this? Why? And they may not understand what the twin flame soul connection is like. Uh, how it can be so intense, how you can see yourself in others, how it might be a little, little bit of a roller coaster with this person. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. So they definitely miss things about you that they may not understand why they feel that way. They may feel blocked in being able to communicate with you. Maybe you moved away. Maybe they have no idea where you live. Let's see. I don't know where to start. So maybe things were left said that weren't really great. Maybe they called you crazy because of what you believed in. But I feel like whatever you believe in, you know that you're not going to accept anyone that doesn't uh, share that belief in yourself. And they may find those values and beliefs changing. And realizing what you stand for is all about that love and the good in people and the good things about people. Now, let's see what may be coming in this uh, um, outcome. And we'll do some tarot and a little bit of after tarot to see what comes in after this. So, ooh, new love. Uh-oh. They may be worried that a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So perhaps you're meeting two people. You may have to make a decision here. Now, this could be somebody that's always been in the friend zone. So this may be the new love, even though they're from the past. Perhaps they've never been in that love zone with you. Or if it was, it was very brief and it wasn't anything that was really committal. I feel like it may have been just... <laughs> I'm getting just to get in your pants at one point, but... Maybe it's a little different now. Maybe that was way back when, maybe when you were kids, maybe when you were teenagers. Chemistry, undeniable. It's very intense and very powerful. This is really intense, strong, strong magnetic attraction. You may feel that energy intensely when you come together. And it might be you're not sure how to react to this person or act towards this person. And I'm kind of getting um, forgiveness. Whatever has been said, there's that amount of where you get to in a, a shadow side where you realize what you want to put your energy into and what you don't want to put your energy into. So take it however it resonates for you. Maybe you're not looking for this past person. Maybe you're looking for that new love, okay? So take it however it resonates for you. Maybe you're wanting to accept the past back. Passion, yes. I feel like there's a lot of sexual chemistry here. Like, intense to want to touch one another. And it's almost like, if I touch this person, am I going to get a shock? <laughs> you know, the energy is so vibing <laughs> intensely. You might be like, oh, I'm afraid to touch you. I might get a... A shock to my system and I feel like that it just might be that let's see yeah so there may have been some family members that worked 
excited about you or your person. Take it how it resonates. I'm getting a mother figure maybe didn't like you. Maybe they really liked the person they ended up with. Maybe they married that person. Maybe they got divorced. But they still really like the first person they were with. Now, this may change because... I feel like this person maybe is a people pleaser and really holds on to what everybody else thinks instead of what they think, okay? Which is so important because nobody else lives your life but you. So they don't walk your shoes. And by giving away your power to other people, then they're always going to make the decisions for you based on what they want you to do. Now, I'm kind of getting with this, there may have been a test here. Maybe you tested a friend that knows both of you. I'm kind of getting with this Sagittarius. Maybe you tested a friend and they, they went back to this person and told them whatever you told them, because you wanted to see if you could trust this person and you cannot. They went and told this other person. This person came and decided they didn't want to be with you based on what this person said. Now, the friend that did you dirty, okay, maybe they did that to you in the past. Maybe that is why you wanted to do the test to see if you could trust them. And the fact that they went to this person, I feel like this is this past person that wants to get to it get together with you because this past person broke it off with you before it even started is kind of what I'm getting. It was based on what this other person said. So your person from the past needs to heal some shadow side. Okay. Maybe they're realizing that it doesn't matter what anybody else says. It's about what they say. It's about what they want. And maybe this intense connection is really making them open their eyes to this. Okay. They're seeing the flaws. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's see. The courthouse. Maybe they're going through a... I'm getting um, maybe a breakup because there is a change here and a lot of people have been hanging on to um, who they may have settled with and spirit was breaking that shit up in, through till November, I think, November 8th. So, and that's hanging on too tightly to somebody that you may have settled with. Now, it, I'm talking about your person. They may have settled and still hanging on to that person and spirits breaking that shit up, um, making them realize that that's not the case. That could be this despair here and they might be looking at things. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. So this is all about the new, right? With the number one or ace. It's all about new opportunities, potential, right? That independence and determined energy. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is also about financial and career opportunities, which I did kind of discuss here. Where did I see? Yeah. About maybe changing fields or having seasonal work that they do. Now, this may be using their resources that they have. Maybe they're able to manifest or they're figuring out how to manifest finances here. This could also be you. So keep in mind... Flip it, switch it however you need to, to make it fit for you. Tell me about this intense connection. Oh, I got a two for, oh, three for, okay, yeah, so <laughs> I'm seeing here, there's that energy about this connection where there was that test with that friend, the friend that went and told your person from the past. Whatever you told them, they came back and broke it off with you before it started because of based on what your ex-friend said to them, okay? There's that um, 
betrayal, I guess you could say. Now, we have the Nine of Wands. Remember, I'm just reading these in the upright, so if you see me flipping the cards around, that's why. This is the Nine of Wands, okay? Now, this is that wounded warrior, okay? This is you still moving forward despite the setback of this betrayal because you are definitely looking at that Ace of Cups, okay? So could be this person maybe realized that this other person was adding a few things to what you said, maybe making you look a certain type of way, okay? There's that Ace of Cups. They may be looking at this intense connection once again, seeing how they may be betrayed you and that you're still moving forward despite this, okay? What about this commitment? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. You may be getting your wealth together. I feel like all the way through this, you are working on you. Maybe working towards what your goals and what you want in your life. Setting in motion those manifestations that you're wanting to have come forward. So even if it's researching how to start your own business or researching and looking into something, you're putting a plan into motion, right? To get that manifestation started to come in for you. Ah, the devil. <laughs> okay. I don't know where to start. Life is so depressing without you. Why do I feel like this? I feel like I'm blocked. Maybe you block connections. Maybe they blocked you. The devil, you may be this Capricorn. The Sagittarius maybe is in love with the Capricorn. Or maybe the Capricorn is this person. Okay. Now maybe they have Sagittarius as well. Maybe they are the Capricorn Sag. And you maybe have Capricorn in your chart. Take it however it resonates for you. This is Capricorn energy. This is all about ambition, right? So they could be wanting to come towards you with that ambition, okay? This is all about facing those desires, facing the obsessions or the controlling issues, or even adultery for that matter, and especially that self-sabotage that we have here, okay? So this is facing those issues, Okay, tell me about this new love. Is this to do with this past person? The world. <laughs> now, we can take this a couple different ways, right? Usually it means there's this completion of maybe something here from the past. Maybe you're closing that door. Um, I guess you could say tying up those loose ends and uh, moving forward. You could be very happy and charming and successful and feeling that complete. And that may be bringing in this new love, okay? Now, if you're wanting to be with that past person, you may have tied up whatever loose ends you had for other things to work on yourself or this person has. The world can also just be that being on the right path, starting anew with this person from the past, having things said where things are going to maybe start with this chemistry and passion here. That's kind of swords. Yikes. Yeah, it, this is a completion of any betrayal there was. This is a completion of a cycle I'm getting here. Tell me, may I come in a family that maybe has kind of turned this person off from being towards you too? So it, it doesn't necessarily have to be an old friend. It could be a sibling. Okay, so take it however it resonates for you. That's the Two of Swords. This is making that decision, right? The Two of Swords. So needing to take that decision, okay? Let's see what your intuition is telling you at this time. And we'll see what your person's intuition is telling them. So let's look at yours. Your intuition is saying the two of pentacles adjust, adapt. This could be multitasking, 
Now, this may be having to multitask because maybe you've already started a business. Maybe you put that ball into motion months ago and things are really starting to progress. Now, maybe you had to take schooling. Maybe you had to do a few things to get to where you needed to go. Maybe you've already started making money on whatever you were doing. With the Two of Pentacles, this is balancing act here. This is that financial opportunities, juggling those with and having that balance with life, work, and love, okay? So what about your person? The star, they may be, may be seeing some uh, self-recognition here for you. I feel like you may be getting some recognition, public recognition. Maybe they're recognizing that you've started your own business. They may be healing themselves here because they did do the shadow side or they are realizing what flaws they may have, how they... Their treatment of people affects others or how they come across to others and how their cause and effect works. They may be going through some karma and having to see that shadow side of themselves and accepting both, right? Accepting the light and the dark side of themselves. Let's have a quick look at what this says here for you. Tell me about the six. Oh, what do we have here? That wounded warrior is coming out. Looks like you may help. They, you two may help each other with any wounding, taking down those walls that you've built around yourselves. This may have something to do with how this person sees you. They've always seen you as, I'm kind of getting that you've always been the sweetheart. They've always seen you as the sweetheart. Very kind, loving, nurturing. That Queen of Cups, oh, look. Yeah, there's that past again. They're really wanting you to come home. I feel like open arms here. They want to, um, you may be very tender-hearted with this Queen of Cups here. And if you, if you have any Capricorn in your chart, Capricorn really does have, um, that ambition, they have that realistic look to life. They're very disciplined, but they have a sensitive soul, okay? So if this is your person is a Capricorn Sagittarius, keep in mind that criticizing them may not be the way to go in order to win their heart, okay? <laughs> They're very sensitive soul, and they may take exception to this. Let's see here, but they really do. This is somebody from your past that is trying to take down this wall. Maybe this Capricorn Sagittarius. Tell me about the courthouse and the ace of pentacles. Somebody here is being courageous, brave. Could be this Capricorn Sagittarius that is trying to deal with this despair. Maybe having to pay somebody out who wants more than what they deserve as a privileged lady. This may be about looking at a new way of doing things here. Hmm. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So this has to do with blessings coming in, more than one blessing for possibly you or this Capricorn. This, somebody has good karma, dharma coming in here. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody here is looking to see if there is any other cup that has any love in it from you as maybe you walked away from this person or they ghosted you. Maybe you ghosted them. Take it however it resonates. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, this material success. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like as a way of working through, you decided that you were going to work on you. You healed your heart, you took out those swords, and you started something here for you. This may be the first time that you've ever really taken charge of your life, or this person has. And this may be that they've never really been on their own. They've always been with somebody. I feel like this may be learning how to be on their own. Maybe they were codependent in the past, okay? They may be realizing what it takes here to be on their own. Oh, I got some cards in here still. Oh. Somebody might be saving diligently. I'm getting very um, 
focused on hanging on to some money. And this may be having to do with whatever they're going through in court. I feel like it's important. Yeah, <laughs> something's getting put to bed. Whether this is something to do with someone else they're trying to get away from or walk away from, or whether this is you deciding to put this in the past and end this cycle out. Maybe you haven't decided yet. Maybe you want to hear out this person and what they have to say. Okay? Now, I'm kind of feeling like they really want to come forward to talk with you. And maybe you've already put this to bed. Maybe you've already ended this out. Maybe this is your person that's ended this out from whoever this privileged lady was. Now, <laughs> maybe they talked some shit about you. With the Five of Swords, I mean, this is hostility. Maybe you had an argument with this person, right? Maybe they wanted to win at all costs, but there was some type of disagreement that happened here. And perhaps they don't know where to start or how to fix this. There is some adapting and healing this out. There is some type of betrayal and an ending here. Now, whether you are accepting this person back or this is a new love that's coming in for you, you're going to have to decide on whether which route you plan to go. And I feel like you're going to know. You're going to know it's going to be a no-brainer is kind of what I'm getting here. What's this two of swords? Tell me about the decision you have to make. <laughs> Dang, man. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. We have Aquarius here. We have Leo. Let's see. What other ones do I see right off the bat here? Um, well, we got Earth here. Dang, man. This is Neptune. This has to do with your imagination. You're kind of pausing, reflecting, maybe taking your time here. There's some type of awareness and a new perspective. There may be something that needs to be sacrificed here. This is all going to happen in divine timing. And when you're made, when you are faced with this decision, I feel like you are going to know what you need to do. All right, let's look at you. You are the two of pentacles. What is your intuition telling you now after all this has come down? What are you going to look at and what is it going to say? Okay, so this is this way because I'm only reading in the upright. You are going to heal this. It looks like you may have put this to bed. You may have put this to rest. You are looking maybe at your... I feel like your um, your own salvation, your own worth, and what you bring to the table. I feel like with the Four of Swords, we're looking kind of like at any previous pain, and you are taking a step back, taking the time, resting, and finding your own peace. Okay, so you may not be wanting to deal with any of this. You may be looking at this as having to go to that for your own well-being is kind of what I'm getting here. Your own peace and own well-being. Let's see what your person says. Oh, they want to be your king of pentacles. Remember, you are showing up. As the Queen of Pentacles, they are wanting to have that blessing of that Ace of Pentacles. Perhaps you're meant to build something together. Maybe you've already started it. It's going to be your decision whether you want to bring this person in or not because you are already making your success. Perhaps this person has started their own success as well. Maybe you're coming together to do something together or it could be you have that choice of whether you want to bring this person in to your success. Okay? So take that however that resonates. But this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> so please like, share, and subscribe. Be part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. If you'd like to donate, you can donate in the description box below. There is a PayPal account, or you can do the super thanks. And of course, I thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, of course, just watching the videos certainly helps as well. Helps the 
channel helps everybody because then everybody's getting the messages and remember I'm doing this in order to help people I really hope I am and somebody is getting something out of what I do here so in any case take care you guys stay blessed and we'll see you next time all right